Well, my new friend uh, Javier uh, De Leon from StrapTech has strapped something to my chest here that I'm going to be uh, testing out, I guess. Tell us about StrapTech. So StrapTech, um, it's a startup in which we created a wearable device for the blind and visually impaired, which is a chest harness that has an array of sensors up front that can detect in real time upcoming obstacles. Through haptic feedback, we can tell you what type of obstacle is in front of you, and also it, we can tell you the position. If it's at the he height of your head, it can be from your shoulders to your waist, and from your waist to your feet. So you stay protected all around your body. So you would still use a cane, but this would be in addition to that, I would imagine? Uh, you can use it as a standalone device, but if you prefer, we have a feature which is a smart cane uh, mode in which uh, you can use a wide cane or maybe you can use a guide dog, uh, whichever you prefer. So it, we adapt to different lifestyles and not the other way around. Okay, all right. So this thing I'm wearing is a, uh, I don't know, how, what is that, about four inches across and uh, maybe three inches thick. And he's got it strapped to my chest, and there's. I noticed the, the straps have something in them. Yeah, we have uh, haptic actuators which vibrate in the straps and also in the back of the device. The best way, way to describe the shape and size is like a hamburger bun. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. It's pretty rounded, it's kind of soft to the touch despite it being plastic, but we want it to feel like a little bit more uh, organic, right? Yeah. So it's not light, but it's well balanced with the four straps. Yeah. So I've got straps over my shoulders and around my waist. And you said these come in different sizes for kids or adults, small, medium, and large adults? Yeah. We have uh, kids that have used the device that are like seven years old. Uh, and we have also people that are 65 years old. We had no old, As old as me? That's crazy. Uh, as young as you. Ah, there you go. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah, and I mean, we don't have like a barrier uh, on age because since it's haptic feedback, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? Uh, when somebody touches your, your shoulder, you're not thinking about turning around, you just turn around. So what we're trying to do is to develop that sense a little bit more to be really explanatory of what's in front of you. Okay, are you going to turn this thing on on For me? Sure, I'm going to turn All it right. on really fast. He's pressing a button on the top. Oh. It just got tickled underneath my armpits here. Yeah, there you Woo! go. So Woo! Now the right, top ones are going. Right now, since the microphone is in front of you, it's detecting the microphone. Oh. So if you put your arms to the side... Okay, you're going to... How about if you hold the mic? For sure. So you shouldn't feel anything right there. Are you feeling something? Still, still feeling it down in my armpits here. Oh, let me... I'm going to readjust it a little bit. Are you feeling something? Nothing. It's because there's nothing in front of you. It's because there's nothing in front of you. But as soon as I step in front of you, you feel you should feel vibrations. Yeah, I'm feeling them at the at my at the top and down below. Yeah, so since we're covering the whole your whole body, you're feeling all around your body. But as soon as you turn around, you shouldn't feel anything. So that's how it works. Uh, vibrations means there's something around in front of you. What you should do is evade the obstacle by turning around until you feel nothing. Right, right. So is there uh, is there a pattern going on here that yeah. should be recognized? Yeah. So for example, right now right around here you should feel something at the shoulders or the top part of your chest which means there's an obstacle on the top part so javi's got his arm up above like at about eye level and that's when i felt it at the top yeah so that means you can duck and go through there yeah you can just you limbo can it up. yeah and also for example if you feel it at the ribs it yeah. means that it's something below you and from your waist and to your feet and if you feel it all around your body, it means that it can be a person, it can be a pole, it can be a wall. Oh, it's very, uh, very intuitive that way. I can see that. So what kind of sensors are built into this? Uh, we're using LiDAR and ultrasonic sensors to create redundancy and also to uh, use the, be the benefits of it, right? So LiDAR can be really good in where the light is pretty controlled and ultrasonic can be really good in open spaces. Uh, so we fuse those technologies together and we create these algorithms that work in conjunction to make a, a higher resolution and more redundant system. So I'm turning it off right now, I think, yeah. because I'm getting tickled the whole time he's talking. Every time he moves his arm, it's tickling me. But um, it made me think about battery life. How long does the battery last? A whole day. Uh, we have an also a smart feature that is smart on off. It's not turned on right now, so it's really easy to use it with different users. 
But what, what it happens is that every time you stand in the same place for a while, it turns off. And as soon as you start walking again, it turns, it turns uh, on again. Oh, that's genius. That's, that's really good. Also, we detect, we have an algorithm. If you sit down, it works the same way. It turns off. As soon as you stand up, it... That way you don't have to turn it on, off, keep forgetting to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a prototype right now, did you say? No, no, no. Uh, we are already out in 17 countries. Uh, wow. We have users all around the world. And and we're currently selling it on our website. Okay, and the website is? Strap.tech. Strap.tech, and uh, how much money is it? It's $1,700. Uh, we have financial options too, so you can pay in, uh, in six months, 12 months, and I think up to uh, 36 months. Very good, well thank you very much, Avi. I uh, wish you the best of luck with this. Thank you, thank you so much for your time.